Hi, my name is Nick. I come from Germany, from Berlin. Um, I'm a model, so I obviously love everything connected with fashion. This is my first time here in Barcelona, attending the Zero Agenda. Uh, so far, I've loved it. I think that the runways are pretty good, the fashion is decent, it's wearable. What I do think it's missing, a little bit more of haute couture stuff, like something more Parisian, on something from London. Something that's not so streetwear, but really just haute couture. But other than that, I think you can really enjoy the weather here and have a great time. Barcelona, we're in Zero Tinta Fashion Week with Boris and we want to know a bit more about his collection and where he's from. Hello, good morning. Hi Monica, how are you? Um, in your opinion, how did the fashion show go? Well, actually we just know if I see the images and if I see the video. Because we're, see we're backstage and I don't have a clue of what happens. But I think it went okay. So tell us about the inspiration that you had for this collection specifically. Well, I started thinking about summer, what summer was for me. And since I grew up next to Amsterdam, and in Amsterdam, well, next to Amsterdam, you have like these really, really uh, green meadows where the cows live. And in the morning, the, the grass is very green, and you have like the rocio, the, the dew drops. And they're blinking in the sun, and the really the morning sun is very bright, and you have the the mist, and it's very magical environment. And this we mixed with a, a piece of art of Michel Le Bruyne, who's a Canadian artist, who who captured. Um, a piece of stone, a large, a large rock, and he completely covered it in mirrors. And that way he reflected everything around it, it's in the um, Alsatian woods. Uh, and so we, we mixed those two things into prints, and that was the starting point for the collection. So what are your future plans? Um, what are you going to do next and where? Well, what's very important to us, we just uh, changed our company. We just moved the company from Belgium to Spain. So Schipper Orkest is Spanish now. And we're starting a new, a new brand. So Schipper Orkest is ready to wear. And we're starting with a more um, costura, with a more, not haute costura, but more, um, yeah, more um, uh, for another client. So we're starting a second brand. And we're working together with another company, so we will have much more production possibilities. And that's very important for us as well. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Daryl Larkin. I work for Idol Magazine. I'm the junior features editor there, and I'm here uh, visiting Barcelona Fashion Week. Um, it's been an amazing week. A lot of the designers are very surprising. But I'm very shocked by what um, I've witnessed on the catwalk. Um, I easily think a lot of the collections here would do well in London as well. That's where we are. That's where I've come from, and. Yeah, I mean, I've seen some amazing talent. Um, I think for the future of Barcelona Fashion Week, I think it's up and coming. I feel like this, like a lot of the designers here need to be showcased more in other parts of the world, like London, New York, Paris. You know, there is a definitely a select few that would do so well, and I do think we'll be seeing more of them. Y bueno, yo he venido al de Yorgos y al de Guillermina. Yorgos me ha parecido muy innovador, que ha tratado muy bien patronaje y tal. Y Guillermina, bueno, también bañadores y trajes de baño, como suele hacer. Bueno, que hubiese un poco más de diseñadores jóvenes que pudiesen desfilar y como una parte donde, donde la gente joven pudiese mostrar las nuevas tendencias. Y de esta edición me ha gustado mucho... Celine, Cristia, Brengan Beast, que colaboro con ellos, y lo que he visto, lo que menos me ha gustado lo que he visto, eh, Juan Pedro, no me pareció nada nuevo, y el resto que he visto más o menos bien. Um, I'm a blogger called Cause Hills and Cigarettes, you can check it out online. I'm here in Barcelona, 080. Uh, trying to check out some fashion shows. Just uh, so Liogos was really nice. Um, Maria Mo Manuel Bolaño was really awesome as well. Um, so far, it's looking really nice. Yeah. 
Seguimos con las entrevistas. Estamos con Ra Casas y Saúl Yori y queremos saber qué hacen. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hi, well, I'm actually a fashion editor. Yes. I'm a specialized in male fashion. Yes. So I'm just here. I just came back from Paris. And now I'm here just trying to see what is in fashion in Barcelona right now. So the first collection I saw was Mango, actually. It was kind of surprising. And now, until now, I have seen most of the women's collection. Last, uh, just today we had Manuel Bolaño, which is quite okay. But I'm really expecting to see Alexis Reyna, for, for, because yes. for me, it's actually one of the best designers that yeah. we have right now. Um, what's your general opinion about Barcelona fashion? Uh, we know it's uh, it's very raw and it's very new and it's a baby, but uh, overall, uh, what do you think? Well, I think it's actually improving in some ways. I have seen a big, big difference from the first the first time that they did it and this style. It seems more professional every time. I think the designers are growing up as, as artists and as professionals, and I think you can see that in their collection. Suddenly, they are are not amateur anymore. They they are now becoming real designers, and that's something to feel proud about. Si tuvieras que utilizar tres palabras para definirla, para definir Barcelona. Barcelona es un poco skater también, mucha playa, mucho sol y mucha fiesta. Hola, soy Juan Pablo Oviedo, director de sponsoring del 080. Eh, lo que me encargo más o menos es buscar eh, sponsors para que esta pasarela se pueda hacer y bueno, lo ideal para futuras ediciones es que eh, cada vez tengamos más sponsors, por lo tanto más visitas y mayor repercusión en, en varios ámbitos. Consejo quizás, eh, más música en directo, que esto también da mucho, mucho más ambiente. Y bueno, mando un gran saludo a la Moda Channel y aquí nos vemos en otras ediciones. ¡Hasta pronto!